100 years ago, the founding families of Tel Aviv, who were lucky enough to win a lottery guaranteeing them a piece of property in the new city, etched their place in history as encapsulated in a famous photograph. Today, their descendants paid homage to their forefathers in a festive recreation of the famous panoramic photo at the old train station. I remember Tel Aviv when we had to walk in the sand. We had to take off our shoes and stockings because we couldn't. There were no streets and we couldn't walk in the streets. And our house on Rupin Street was the only house. My uh, grandfather was uh, the one who bought uh, his house here and built a factory here and started working here. It was all uh, desert and sand here. There was nothing. Freak and place where you could walk at night as a child and no one was afraid for what would happen to you. We are gathering here according the, to the families that of the founders and the children and grand-grandchildren. We are fifth generation here. My children are the third generation born in Tel Aviv. My father told me he used to take the train here to, to Egypt and it was an all-night uh, trip uh, to Port Said and to Egypt and uh, he, he, he told me how he would sleep on the train and wake up at uh, El Arish and uh, Anaza and uh, then arrive here at uh, Jaffa. What did uh, your ancestors do for fun? For fun? They haven't got fun, they were building the town. <laughs> Tel Aviv is my, my town, even if my city, my town, it was a town. Tel Aviv was beautiful then, and Tel Aviv is beautiful today. Of course I'm proud. Tel Aviv is a wonderful city. Friends, <laughs> Dor Chattash and Shalem Yakub Mitochenu.